Hey there guys and welcome back to God of War 2. In the last episode we went across the steeds of time, killed Theseus, took the key, got uh, Kronos' rage, and we went back to the island which we now pretty much dragged across the earth to get to the temple. And uh, yeah, that's basically where we're picking up now. Smash this wall here because this just screams breakable to me and I was correct, revealing a red orb chest. And it's not going to give me that many red orbs. It's a bit of a bummer. Nothing else here appears to be breakable. So, let's move on up, shall we? Because we still have quite a way to go before we get where we need to be. What do we have here? Oh, hello. I'll take that. Happily. Is that going to give me a decent amount? Nah, not quite. So, then... Yep, still see the steed's rear end. Oh, another one of those weird fire fly things. Don't know what they are. They don't look like the bat things, so they, they look more like fiery bugs. No idea what mythological creature they're supposed to be. Ooh, oh. Or a Gorgonai and red orbs. Oh, okay, that's not a Gorgonai or a Phoenix Feather. These, however, will definitely be red orbs. And here's another one. Will this give me something good? Yes, finally, a health upgrade. Not that I've really ever been close to dying in battle, but I'll take it. I mean, it helps if these videos show off the location of all the uh, the Gorgonize and Phoenix Feathers as well, so... Sure, why not? Okay, so we need to go down then. And, hang on. Yeah, I knew I spotted this correctly, another climbable wall. Which has to lead me to another goodie. I'm going to assume. Either that or this is the way to go when we find more goodies up on that ledge over there. Breakable wall. And... Yep, indeed goodies. Guessing a phoenix feather. Just to... Yep, phoenix feather. Magic upgrade. Now we can spam the wind arrows even more. And also Kronos' rage, if I feel like using that. Honestly, my favorite between the two has to still be Typhon's Bane. So expect to see that a lot more than you're going to see Kronos' Rage. Alright, back up we go then. So then this ledge is indeed the proper path. With a big-ass door and more of those weird bug things. Stay away from them when they're dead. And a little, another little red orb chest. Grab him. Boom. Oh. Okay, if you kill them by grabbing them, they don't even burn up. It's a statue with a big green glowing thingy. What is that about? Is it going to shoot green lasers? Standing on the pressure plate makes it lower its hands, and I can see a red orb chest and uh, a Gorgonai or a Phoenix Feather chest up there, so we have to get up there some... Oh, hello. Uh, they always try to hide these with the camera angles. They're not going to fool me that way anymore, so there has to be another one. And right I am. It's a good episode for Phoenix Feathers and Gorgonize. Okay, this one raises those and lowers them as soon as you get off. Let's drag this thing, see what happens. Because we can't really seem to do anything with those things unless we find something to put on the pressure plate. Oh, hello, secret tunnel. Maybe we don't need to go here quite yet. Maybe we'll backtrack here later if we have a different item or something. It's It wouldn't be the first time the God of War series has pulled something like that. So down we go. It's extremely convenient that Kratos lost all of his tools from God of War 1 except the one that lets him breathe underwater. You'd think that he'd lose that one as well. But nope, he keeps that from God of War 1 no problem. What do we have here? Looks like the thing on the statue. Gimme. Oh, oh, come on. If you if you were going to take the rock straight out of the hand, you didn't need to chop it off first. That's just needless vandalism. Anyway, we have the Amulet of the Fates now. Basically, you do that, you slow down time. Which is going to help out with all those pressure plate puzzles that we can do otherwise. So, that's a pretty nifty little item there. The relic. You hold. An amulet of the Sisters of Fate will allow you to move swiftly through time while all around you slows. 
Yes, thank you, Gaia, for the information. Okay, this does nothing because that dead body somehow got up there. That's actually quite weird because if the gate opens by going down, then how did the body get stuck in the bloody middle of the gate? That makes no sense if you come to think about it. Anyway, zap the thing with the amulet and you will find that they are not dropping down immediately. Oh crap, come on. Nice, made it. Shouldn't have dilly-dallied around a lot longer though, because you the timer is generally pretty strict. Doesn't give you a lot of room to play around. And actually, I think I remember the location of... I believe a Gorgonite around here somewhere. Which you definitely needed the amulet for to get, so raise these. And boom. Go to the right pair of pillars. Jump up them, and then this, uh, what's it, tapestry, window thing, whatever. Break it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And ta-da. I don't know, I guess it's a window thing, because if it was a tapestry, it would have torn a lot nicer. Anyway, that's another Gorgonite for you. And I... Well, logic makes me think that there's something on the same thing on the other side of the room as well. But I have tried before and there is not. So now that we've pretty much done everything there is to do down there, let's just get up here and finally do this that we spotted like five minutes ago and still haven't gotten around to covering. So boom! And you just need to hop on the hands and then we will move on. As soon as the time goes back to normal, and the things will go up a lot faster. Alright. Oh, cutscene. Alright, what's gonna happen? Oh shit, the statue's alive! Hear me, fallen god. None defy what the fates decree. That is how it must be. Only death awaits you at the end of your journey. My death is what began this journey. The fates have not deemed victory for you. Your soul will never find peace for what you have become. I am what the gods have made me! Again with the anger outbursts, Kratos. That is not healthy for you. And out the window with you. Yeah, that'll serve you right for messing with me. Anyway, now we can finally get to these things that we spotted a while ago. Phoenix Feather. Excellent. And, oh yeah, there was a red orb chest on the other side, but that's still worth opening. It's not a Gorgonite, but it'll come in handy just the same. Alright, follow the head. Oh Jesus, what the bloody hell are those things? Were they? I think they were in God of War 1, I just don't really re remember what they were called or what they did. Oh, now I see it. Oh yeah, those were the things that attacked you from below from the shadows. Ooh. Oh, I think that's definitely new. Boom! Out of there! Oh, I quite like the grabbing animations on these guys. Okay, one down, one to go. Stab his arms in the ground and uppercut him square in the jaw. Oh, that's a new thing. It's like a black bat creature. In you go, up you go, down you go, and boom into the wall. It's not quite a home run, but damn it. I didn't know in God of War 3 you could... Just pulled these guys out of the ground, made fighting them a lot easier. Come on, you bastard. Actually, no, I don't. It's like one of those fire bugs, but black and not explody. I like them better, because they don't blow up in your face. Come on, come here, bug. Oh, yeah, of course. Magic. Let's resort to that, shall we? Problem solved. Shut up, statue. Why are you still talking? You're decapitated. Statue shouldn't be talking in the first place. Uh, we have any secrets over here? Wait, was that a... No, no, passageway. Okay, that spire there is definitely our goal. And that should be the road to it, and it just got cut off by a freaking force field. This does not please me. Always hindering our journey. Okay, get a little bit of health back. And now we gotta find something to shut down the force field with. Might be trickier than originally thought, but a little bit of red orbs never hurt anyone. Might as well take those along. 
And what awaits us on the other end? Presumably more red orbs or perhaps an upgrade. Yep, upgrade. Wicked. It is another Gorgonite. That is like the fourth one in this episode. It is indeed a good episode for upgrades. And ladder down. That's not how you descend a ladder like that, Kratos. Makes sense for like a ladder that we have today, like a modern ladder, but not that one. Why is that thing shooting fireballs in the wall? Oh dear. Cyclops, oh goody. And pigs. Nice combination. Whoa. Damn, it even gives you a Rage of the Titans orbs. So I guess they kind of want you to use that here. But you picks it up and guts it like a fish. That is nasty. Kind of reminds me of the uh, the centaur killing. God of War 3 where just rips the guts out. Boom, face plant. Doesn't slow him down one bit though. Eh well. We'll just give him another one. Never can have enough. Oh, wait, did the boar just kill him? I'm pretty sure I didn't. I was attacking the boar. Oh crap, two cyclopses. Not good. Whoa, they just throw the boar at me? He totally picked it up, ripped it in half, and threw it at me. But whatever, let's go ape shit. I mean, the boars give you Rage of the Titans orb, so I might as well use it to deal with the overwhelming amount of Cyclopses here. Boom. Never get tired of seeing them slam their faces into the pavement. Alright. Anyone else? Oh, one measly boar. Okay. There we go, problem solved. Yep, that was indeed the final one. Now, what is up with that? Okay, quick uh, run through the area, see if there are any upgrades hidden away in nooks or crannies. Or perhaps behind camera angles that we cannot see because you cannot alter the camera in this game. Oh, that was a little uh, see-through-the-wall glitch thing there. Don't think... Oh. Yeah, I don't think we need to go here just yet. Well, I know we don't need to go there just yet. This is my first time playing the game. I just need to act like it is to fool all of you people. But whatever, we need to take this. And as you can see, this little uh, statue has a pretty nice shield on it. Pretty huge shield as well. It's taller than freaking Kratos is. And Kratos is not a small guy. But put the shield in front of the beam and that's one down, one to go. Aha, uh -huh. didn't think of that when you put those statues there, did you, Sisters of Fate? Yeah, they would be a lot better off if they didn't just leave all these statues all over the place. Anyway, we can't get this one up there because there's a ledge and Kratos is apparently not strong enough to lift up the statue and put it there. So, we just need to kick it up there and... Up, up and away! Any time now. Okay, maybe I need to do it myself. Makes a lot more sense, actually. Come on, get on. Nice. Okay, then what you do, you take the statue, put it kind of over the ledge, and just give it a good push. There we go. That's two. Just need to put it in its proper position, and then watch the fireworks. Come on. Go in. There we go. Yep, problem solved. Force field down. And that doesn't look good. Looks kind of flamey. Stuff gonna explode? Yep. Ah, Kratos. Blowing stuff up and needlessly destroying stuff wherever he goes. You would not want to invite this guy over for lunch. He will probably smash, you, smash your head open over the coffee table and break it in half or something. Anyway, jump down because Kratos doesn't give a shit about fall damage. He gives so, so few shits he doesn't even take any. Alright, uh, first of all, get a bit of health back, because why the hell not? And then we'll save, and then in the next episode, we'll set off following the trail, see where it takes us. So, save the game, never hurts to not do it. Thanks for watching, see you next episode, bye bye